Welcome back to Mastering Maven. Today we're going to be going over creating a waypoint mission by flight. I've got the drone in the air. The Maven app is open. I'm going to tap waypoint, new mission, and by flight. To start, I'm going to tap add waypoint. I'm going to fly the drone to the next position. Change the tilt on my gimbal. And add another waypoint. Next, I'm going to center over the dome. and tap POI to add a point of interest. Add another point of interest. Get the drone lined up on this row of boats and add another waypoint. I'm gonna change the tilt on my gimbal so it's pointing straight down. Because I added the waypoint and then changed the gimbal tilt, when I fly this mission between that waypoint and this next one, the gimbal is going to gradually change its tilt to go straight down. I'm going to add another waypoint. Change my camera orientation. And add another waypoint. For this demonstration, I'm going to add a final waypoint a little closer to home. Now that I've finished adding waypoints, I'm going to tap the X and save the flight. I've got the drone back on the ground. I'm going to tap waypoint. I'm going to tap the waypoint mission we just created and we're going to do some housekeeping. I'm going to select the first waypoint, tap the gear to change the settings. First, I'm going to change the orientation of the waypoint to point at the point of interest. Then I'm going to add an action to start recording. I'm going to move to the next waypoint. And I'm going to change the orientation on that one to point at the point of interest. Change the third waypoint to also point at the point of interest. The next two waypoints I'm going to leave at their pre programmed orientation. I'm going to point the next two waypoints at the point of interest. The altitude for the point of interest defaults to the altitude the drone was at when you set the point of interest. The point of interest altitude controls where the drone points in relation to the point of interest. Tapping on the point of interest and then the gear allows me to adjust that altitude. I'm going to drop it down to about 5 meters. Next I'm going to select the last waypoint and set an action to stop recording. Then tap the disc to save the mission. Now that I've finished the housekeeping, I'm going to tap the waypoint button. Select the mission we just saved. And tap the rocket to fly the mission. The drone's going to take off. It's going to climb to the altitude of the first waypoint and then move to that waypoint position. Once the drone reaches the first waypoint, it'll start recording and fly the mission. In the interest of time, I've sped this up to eight times speed.
again because I set this waypoint and then tilted the gimbal down. The gimbal will gradually tilt down as it moves from that waypoint to the next waypoint. Once the drone reaches the last waypoint, the action to stop recording will fire. The app will then display mission complete and return to home. In the mission settings, you can change the mission complete action to be return to home, which is the default, or stop or land. All right, this has been creating a waypoint mission by flight. As always, if you feel I've earned it, I'd appreciate a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.